Hi, this is Dave Gardner with the results team here at Keller Williams DTC. And uh, we just got back from Mega Relief down in the Houston area. We were actually in an area called Katy, Texas, right outside of Houston. And I was involved with um, uh, actually what they call demucking a house. And that's where we went and cleaned out the house after the flood waters had receded. So when we first went into the neighborhoods, uh, we were all amazed. Uh, we went in in buses. Um, at the amount of trash um, piled up in front of the streets. Uh, and not only was it trash, it was people's belongings, it was their clothes, it was their furniture, carpeting, drywall, all piled into huge piles in front of every house. Um, and occasionally you'd see a house with nothing in front of it. And I later came to learn that some people were so devastated by the events that they couldn't come back and face going back into their house. So unfortunately, those houses with nothing in front of them um, were still uh, molding and full of water, logged uh, furniture, belongings, clothes, everything. And, um, you know, according to different contractors on site, those houses will probably ultimately have to be bulldozed uh, because of the mold that will go up there. But the, uh, literally, some people simply can't face everything that they have to do when they come back. Because the house we went into, we first had to go in and take out all the belongings that were still left there. And hardest thing for the property owner, uh, the people that lived there, was deciding what stuff was going to go in the trash pile and what stuff was going to go into the backyard, which was the attempt to keep pile. In my opinion, a lot of stuff went in the backyard, wasn't going to be salvageable, but they just couldn't bring themselves emotionally to part with it at that moment. So it was a very emotional time for them. And, uh, they were they were there uh, uh, definitely uh, tearful um, and at the same time very happy for the help that we were able to give, give them. The big thing is is that I kind of felt like we hardly made a dent. You know, we were able to help one family and made the difference uh, in a life for one family, but there were thousands of people that needed help. Many people came by that day and saw our team there working and asked how we could help them. And, you know, and talking with the church group that uh, was affiliated with um, the relief effort that we were doing with Keller, um, there was over a thousand people on their list or a thousand homes that were already on the list. So it's very unlikely that uh, those people were going to be serviced anytime soon. And, and uh, people were just beside themselves really not knowing what to do. So there's really a lot of things that it's going to be a year, two years or more before they're fully recovered down there. They need a lot of help and a lot of support. So anything you can do to support those folks down there, um, this is not going to be over with quickly, um, um, and especially for the people that are still uh, taking uh, flood damaged furniture and belongings out of the house and, and then ripping out drywall and hardwood floors. Um, they've got a long way to go. So uh, please help any kind of relief efforts down there. This is Dave Gardner. Thanks for listening.